Okay, so once I tell my printer to print, I have a couple minutes to get over here and hold this piece of paper. What I find best is to hold it on the sides so that, sometimes on the top too, depends on the size. What this has to do is just has to go neatly into the printer one time. And then, okay, now that fit in perfectly. So what I've done to this is I have my print in the, sec in the center here with the acrylic paint on it. It's not really a print, it's acrylic paint on muslin. I size my canvas size after I design my print to go on top of this. And it's perfect. What it's going to do is going to print over the top, over the sides, and over the bottom. So I'm not going to bore you with this little uh, thing and see how it goes, but we'll print it all the way up to about here and then it'll be done. Okay, now I'm going to set up my next print. Okay, so now we have one that is brand new carrier sheet. This I've done the same thing. I'm going to hold it just to make sure everything goes right for it to go through. This is a piece of Luchador, one of the thicker ones. It may not need the stability of a carrier sheet to go through the printer, but what it does need is the fact that if it does have some ink go through the Luchador, since it's a little porous, then it's not going to get on my printer and cause a problem. Okay, so now we'll go on to the 4800 and I'll show you how I do that. This is my 4800. You can see the paper in the back. It's been loaded. I just drape it over the the back for the roll paper and this is that lace paper that I put coating on and you can see the printer is started. Now this printer will just continue obviously like the other one until it's done and then um, I'll have my print. As it continues printing you can see that I have a little bit of space here where it didn't print over the edge I don't know, sometimes it just does that stuff. You can see though, it's printing over the paper here so that it'll, it'll be edge to edge. And I'll just cut the top, the very top off. I'll just tear it off. So now we'll just talk a little bit about these prints that we did here. Um, this is the Luchador one that we just did that you saw me set up in the printer. Very easy to take off the carrier sheet. You can see some ink residue right there. So you know that um, it would have come on, on the back of bottom of your printer if you hadn't done that. Okay, this is the other one that we did, the fabric. And that's pretty much staying where it was supposed to. And this was that orange fabric that I had put a coating on yesterday, or the last time we saw it. Okay, so I have some of the organza. Uh, organza. It's not organza, it's organdy. Uh, this is the one that was coming out of the printer. I don't know if I showed you that or not, but see these come off easily off of these sheets. The, ta the uh, tape is going to stay so that I can also use this again. So that is that. Then we'll go to um, what just came off the printer and for some things you can watch out for. Okay, one of the things is that I had said that this print didn't go right up to the top. Some of these papers are a little bit more difficult to get off and so you have to very carefully, very carefully run your finger a little bit under them and help them come off of here. You want to take it easy and not mess up your print. And yes, sometimes it gets torn. So those are the kind of things that you have to be really careful with. And I do take it off before the ink is dry. I know that's probably not a good thing, but I do. Now this one, I let go a little too long. Sometimes what I do once it's printed to the edge, I just delete it from the printer queue and that'll take care of that. Okay, so taking them off, you have to be really careful. Here are some canvases. This is a lace, a very fragile lace paper. You can see it has some tearing here. Okay, but it's pretty much was fine to come off. And this is that metallic one that I did both sides. The way I printed this then was I overprinted it 
when I printed the back side, I just put the tape on the place where was no printing so that that helped it get through the printer correctly. And then now I just tear it off. This is a very, very poor um, sheet to use. This is just regular printer inkjet paper. It's the worst thing to use for a carry sheet because it comes apart, but it's all I had at that moment. If you can see, there's a difference in the print. This is the metallic and this was the white matte. So that's about it, just a bunch of surfaces here that were printed. And, um, you know, don't forget to use Photoshop as the person that's choosing the color. Person. Photoshop's a person. Um, and then make sure you change your printer profiles to what's proper for your papers.